Navy are one of the biggest part of a country's army and defense. Before, uh, as we, as I mentioned in the title, we they use battleships and whatever they are in use today. We are going to talk about them. But first, let's know why they were overruled on many countries. First of all, destroyers came in order to do it, and the Americans were very interested in destroyers at first. Followed by the Russians, who are not so interested, but yet they were, yeah, building. And the most of all, the Brits. Brits made some unusual ships like these, and who know who in the world knows what happens. And also, in the preference of submarines, they started doing it. So, let's see. They even had aircraft carriers that were very, very wild. And let's talk about them. One of them is the Kirov class battle cruiser. It is a combined steam and nuclear propulsion battle cruiser, which is extremely crazy. The Russian Navy. Yeah, you can see in this picture, you you just put a, a, a Kula class uh, submarine and a good nice uh, Algi Berg class destroyer behind with it and you can wreak havoc. Coming back, coming to the United States, we have Lola class battleships which were again made in uh, World War II to counter the Japanese ships. And uh, actually, by the way, we have got a lot of Japanese ships waiting for them too. <laughs> and the Lola class battleships were beasts, but not by today's standards. So they were outruled and like basically nothing. Next come the Kuznetsov class aircraft carrier, which was actually new, but still they were made in the Soviet eras. It had about my many aircrafts. About you can what you can say fifty to thirty two aircrafts plus twenty four high helos and many more missiles. And lastly, do not forget our Indian aircraft carrier INS Virat, which is though not servicing today, but was made in the twentieth century and used till the twenty first century. INS Vikrant cannot be forgotten. You know that many uh, bikes are made of that steel as well. Do not forget that. 